attention to that matter is arguably the most severe form of violence in the United States is the human violence in the United States. The number of reports of cases of SPM in the open is troubling. Western news articles about SPM continue to assert that it is solely a cultural factor, not justified by any religion. Yet again and again, we see Muslim imams sex trafficking and sexual and Islamic law, and specific references can be found to the people I would see. I will highlight the situation in the United States. First, the United States. The United States has had a law in place banning the since 1996, and 20 states have passed their own statutes. But, but as of 2012, there have been no prosecutions of the federal law. Next, the United Kingdom. Even though it is still illegal in the United Kingdom, and as and as many as 66,000 girls have been subjected to this by authority, the British authorities have never managed to prosecute anyone for it. There are indications of 1,500 new cases of SPM in one London hospital alone. Staff are fearful of getting involved because they see the practice as a cultural issue rather than abuse. Finally, Belgium. Reports show that more than 8,000 girls were subjected to SDM in 2010, despite penalties of up to five years in prison. We recommend to participate in states to follow. Violence against women and children can only be combated if the problem is recognized. This recognition is especially important with respect to the barbaric crimes caused by SDM. We both recommend that participating states recognize that SGM is not a cultural practice for the religious world, as it is endorsed by many Islamic imams and scholars due to its participation in Islamic law. Legal penalties for SGM should be raised. Educational awareness programs and health education should be introduced. Endorsement performance and support of SGM must be reported to the authorities and prosecutors. And finally, as the best practices, it is deplorable that none is used yet. Thank you, Madam Moderator.